those who are new to this channel welcome back so i'm neha singh i'm studying in third year bachelor's of physiotherapy so my day starts at six o'clock in the morning for half an hour i'm gonna do brisk walking just see the view right now it's six o'clock in the morning uh, i'm gonna do brisk walking for half an hour then i'm gonna do stretching in my room so yeah After reaching to my room, I quickly grabbed my mat and started doing some basic stretching exercises. I usually do my exercises inside my room, but as my roommates were sleeping, I didn't feel comfortable to record it. So I came outside of my room to do exercise. So this is my mess and uh, this is my hostel. It's not far, it's just uh, like uh, downstairs of another building. And uh, I came early right now at 7, 10 a.m. As uh, respecting students' privacy, I didn't want it to shoot much during the mess time. Uh, as you see, uh, there are not too much students in the mess. Even during this time, I met a few of my classmates and then we were chit-chatting and having our breakfast. So this is my following timetable for today. 9 to 12, I'm having my clinical posting. Right now, I'm posted in uh, cardio OPT. Then 12 to 1, I'm having internal lecture that is PFT. And uh, then after lunch break, all the three lectures are my external lecture. Now I'm all ready to leave for the college. Do subscribe to my channel as I'm gonna soon make a video like what's in my bag. hand side it's cardio OPD right hand side it's the medicine OPD so as you see there is no one over here right now and the, all the OPDs are empty as I went early for the classes today and no one was there I, I went to see one of my friend in the operation theater to kill my time and to just check up on him I will explain you the case later as you see in the video right now uh, what the thing you see in the video is known as arthroscopic surgery it was later removed now the x-ray which you are seeing right now now it shows that the patient femur has been dislocated and acetabulum fracture is there. Back to my clinical posting as you see it is fully packed and later we went to the ward for the assessment. This time I was having my posting in TB ward. I went to take an assessment of a TB patient. I'm not gonna disclose any patient's name, their case or the patient's face as uh, due to the privacy and right now as you see in the video I'm auscultating the patient, checking TVF after that we went outside of the TV ward to write down the notes of the assessment uh, so that we can show it to our clinical teacher so this is how we write our clinical notes Right now it's 11.45 am and we got done with our clinical posting. Now we are going to our class. As you see this is my class. Our class is uh, itself in the hospital and uh, in my class there are a total of 154 students. And in whole class of 154 students, there are only 20 to 25 boys in my class, rest are all the girls. And usually people ask me that if physiotherapy is a good course for girls or not. Now I hope this answers to your question. Now it's attendance time. Present. Done with the morning lectures, then I went to the mess, had my lunch, took a short nap and then I came back to the class. Now the clinical science is done. Then with the two afternoon lectures, then we got a short break. I went to the washroom. I came back. I was sitting with my other batchmates until Sir was not there. And we were discussing about few random stuff. Now it's 4.40 p.m. and our classes got over and we were dispersed. Now going back to my room. One good thing about external lectures is that we are dispersed early. When I got back into my room, my roommates were not back yet from their classes. Finally, I'm back in my room after having a long day. Right now, I'm tired as I had a long day today. Uh, so right now, uh, I will either take a nap or watch any video or movie. Uh, then I will go for dinner. So I will see you around that time. 
Hello, so this is day two after shooting the last clip uh, yesterday. I almost uh, overslept. I even missed my dinner and then I didn't even shoot anything, neither any video or even the ending for the video. Though, which was a good thing as I believe like everything happens for a reason. So today again, I had my clinical posting in cardio OPD and uh, today I did go for ICU as whenever we are posted in cardio opd once or twice we get a chance to go in the icu and do the observation and learn all the instruments and all uh, so i even took a short clip which you will see after this one intern was accompanying us and we were given a task to check the gcs of the patient to check which all leads are attached to the patient in the icu what all machines are there what is the name what is the function of it and all i have blurred the following video which is playing right now on your screen as uh, what i have said in the starting of the video due to the patient's privacy and their dignity which is in our hand i didn't wanted to break any more rules so i have blurred at the same time i wanted to show you the clips like what inside of the icu how it looks so i guess so you are getting a rough idea how it looks and how patients are there and how machines are there so that's it for this vlog i hope you liked it uh, i tried my best to shoot with the patient and in the hospital within the ward as much as i can so yeah i will see you in my next video by that time do take care bye bye